I'll give you an example. You are married to a phlegmatic husband. If you have problems with your in-laws, most likely you are going to be the middle of it all the time. Because if you go to him and say, oh, your sister is giving me this issue, you're probably going to hear something like, she's my sister, you're my wife, what do you want me to do? <laughs> and that's just how phlegmatics are. Because they don't want to take a stand for anything. Okay? They can also be very indecisive. Ah, before a phlegmatic can make up their mind. They would rather be on the fence because they don't want to offend anybody. So they will always be in the middle. Um, they are also very stubborn. But because they are very peaceful, you know, because they are very people, people don't quickly notice that they are stubborn. So a choleric doesn't want to do something. He will be very vocal about it. I'm not going to do this and there's nothing you can do about it. But a phlegmatic will not say yes. They will not say no. But the thing they want to do, they will do it. You know, so, and then it's very hard, very hard to get them to do anything. They are chiefs at procrastination. So the, the, the thing you will constantly hear if Legmatic says, I will do it later, or I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'm getting to it. I'll do it. I'll do it. They always have a plan to do something and they end up not doing it. Um, another, another thing about them is that now this is a strength. And I want to use the life of Abraham to show you this. Um, they're very peaceful. Let's start from Genesis 13, from verse 7. And it said, Quarrels broke out between Abraham's shepherds and Lot's shepherds. The Canaanites and Perizzites were also living on the land at the time. Now, see what had happened. Let me give you a, um, a bit of a history to what was going on here. God had called Abraham and said, Follow me, leave your father, your kindred, and follow me to a land I will show you. And Abraham took his nephew Lot with him. And so when they st st kept following God, God started blessing them. Now God was blessing Abraham, and because of that, because Lot was associated with him, Lot was also getting blessed. Now they were so blessed that this, their servants, their cattle, everything grew so much that they couldn't, the, the land they were in could not contain them anymore. So their servants started quarreling. Now, a normal person, any other temperament, if you carry somebody and the person is blessed because of you, and there's quarrel, what's the normal thing to do? See what Abraham did. So when quarrel broke out, verse 8, Abraham said to Lot, let's not have fighting between us, between your shepherd and my shepherd. After all, we're family. Verse 9. He says, look around. Isn't there plenty of land? Let's separate. If you go left, I will go right. If you go right, I will go left. In other words, even though you are younger than me, pick. I don't want problem. You pick. Anything that is left over, I will take. And Lot, no having sense. I don't even know what he is. I don't, I've not yet figured out his temperament. <laughs> he didn't even think deeply. It can't be a male. Because a male will suspect choleric. Maybe. It's possible. Because, because a melancholy would think. He would think about, he would even be suspicious that his uncle says he should go. There's this man, you pick first. Something didn't matter, you know. But he, he, he picked. And unfortunately, picked Sodom and Gomorrah. Because the land looked good and everything. And he went. He didn't allow his uncle. Somebody that, it's because of him you were blessed. If not that he showed you road. If not that you followed him and were doing apprentice, will you even understand b the business we are doing? And you are now blessed. Your husband says, sorry, your uncle says, speak. And the first thing you did was you looked for the best place. Are you sure it's not sanguine on me? Sanguine is inside. Because they like themselves. You now look for the best place. You didn't even have small humility to say, ah, this man, let me give him respect. No respect. It's choleric. No respect. <laughs> it's a close sum. That's the conclusion. No respect. Now, see what happened. He now got into Sodom and Gomorrah. Some of the some kings now came together and attacked so Sodom and Gomorrah. And some of the people they captured was Lot, his family, and all his property. Give me um, chapter 14 from verse 11. And somebody escaped and went to Abraham. If it's any other temperament, what would the answer be? Let him suffer. His head is not correct. He's speaking before me. But phlegmatics are dependable. If they love you, they love you. They will always have your back. 
That's the thing about phlegmatics. They are, one of their strengths is that they will always have your back. If you are their person, you are their person. And it says, the four kings captured all the possessions of Sodom and Gomorrah, all their food and equipment, and went on their way. Verse 12. It says, they captured Lot, Abraham's nephew, who was living in Sodom at the time, taking everything that he owned with them. A fugitive came and reported to Abraham the Hebrew. Abraham was living, blah, 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 blah. 14. Please move quickly, I don't have time. When Abraham heard that his nephew had been taken prisoner, he lined up his servants, all of them, born in his household. There were 318 of them. He took all his servants home and packed all his trained servants. And they went and chased after the captors all the way to Dan. Abraham and his men split into small groups and attacked by night. They chased them as far as 16. They recovered all the plunder along with, nephew, with his nephew Lot and his possessions, including the women and the people. Do you know that after I even rescued him, he still, me and you, we shall save punishment. I don't, I don't know. I don't think, you know, you have to be a very peaceful person. A very loving and usually phlegmatic to do anything for their family. If you are their person, they usually have your back. He still, after everything, that, after all the misbehaving and the misbehavior of his nephew, he still went after him to rescue him. Still put his, himself in harm's way to rescue him. So they can be very peaceful, very very, very, very dependable. Another thing about them is that they can be very patient. Abraham waited 25 years for the promise of God. How many living human beings, if how many human beings dead or alive, can do that? 25 years. You know what it means for God to tell you you are unlimited and it takes 25 years for you to prosper, to be unlimited. Because the average human being if you get a word, if by October it's not, it's not looking like, won't you start threatening God? Abraham gave God glory, even when he had not seen it. So usually they are very patient. They can stick things through. Usually a phlegmatic is the least likely to resign for an office, from an office. If they work in a place, they can die there. Usually it's death that will take them out of an organization.